Cops. Central organization of police specialists. Fighting crime in a future time. Protecting Empire City from Big Boss and his gang of crooks. Stashed cash. Cops file 392027. It was one of Empire City's most baffling unsolved cases. It began 35 years ago when a notorious thief, Sud Sparkle, was making a clean getaway with millions of dollars in city funds. After a streak of armored car hijackings, Suds thought he was unstoppable. But he hadn't counted on the bravery of a young beat patrolman named Mickey O'Malley. Here's how the caper came down. Huh? I think I recognize the driver. Just as I thought. Sud Sparkle! years ago today that Sud Sparkle, one of Empire City's most wanted criminals, was put behind bars. And with me is the brave policeman who made that historic bust, Mickey O'Malley, the father of cops officer Longarm O'Malley. As I've always told Longarm, good police work means never giving up. That's how I nabbed Suds. Tell me, after all these years, what do you remember most about Sud Sparkle? The same thing everyone remembers. He hated dirt. He was a nut about keeping clean. Hmm, nothing wrong with being tiny. I'm watching television, Crusher. Uh, sorry, Big Boss. Such thought he was unstoppable. Hey, I know that guy. Yeah, he was my cellmate in Empire City Prison. 
I think it was my seventh time in the slammer. Or was it the ninth? I said I'm watching television. Uh... Tons was a slippery devil. By the time I caught him, he'd already hid the loot from his other heists. You mean some money was never found? At least five million dollars. <laughs> five million dollars? Oh, sure. Sud stashed a bundle. You know about this? I told you, Suds was my cellmate. Huh? Did he tell you where he put the doll? He said he hid it at the old West Side Laundry, but I never found nothing. Of course, I didn't have the map. What map? This map was the only clue to where Suds hid the money. Suds carved a map into this bar of soap. But since we couldn't find his hideout, the map was useless. Suds took that secret to his grave. They're so stupid. Suds' hideout was the West Side Laundry. With that map, they could go there and... Uh, get the five million dollars. Yeah. But they don't know about the West Side Laundry. And we do. Get that soap. And take McBoombo. I don't want any mistakes. <laughs> right, boss. Take that, you crummy fly. <laughs> Steal a bar of soap from an old man. Taking candy from a baby got too tough for you? No, no. The soap has a map on it. It shows where five million bucks is stashed. I hate bugs. But I like going for five million bucks. Well, where's this soap we're gonna heist? It's at the TV station. Thank you for sharing your fascinating story with our television audience, Mickey. This is Whitney Morgan saying, tune in tomorrow. Good job, Dad. Hey, Grandpa! Show Miss Morgan your lucky handcuffs! In my day, I didn't need any fancy power cuffs like long arm uses. This old-fashioned pair worked just fine. I can still show you young ones a thing or two about police work. Cuffs. You get the soap. I'll cover you. With that soap... We're really gonna clean up! Well, we'd better get that bar of soap back to the crime museum. Thanks again, fellas. Hmm. If I only knew where that hideout was. <gasps> Surprise! Hey, hey, what's going on? Give me that so. What so? Uh. Step aside, McBoom Boom. <clears throat> hey! Let me show you how it's done. Ah! Uh. Hot fly. And easy out. Grandpa! Look out! Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> Enough games! Give me that soap! What soap? <gasps> the map is worn off! You thugs blew it. That soap is worthless now. And I'm the only one who knew that map. <sighs> the way I see it, then, you're worth five million bucks to us. We're going for a little ride. Let my grandpa go! And we'll take this kid with us, uh, so he's part of the cop. Don't try nothing funny. Whoa, whoa! Let my son go! Ah! I'm a police officer. This is official cops' business. You better look me up here. I'm not programmed for crime reporting. Not a chance. Those thugs have my son and father. I can't lose them. Please slow down. My circuits are very sensitive. Grandpa! Dad's catching up! He'll save us! Oh no! That bus made Dad stop! He'll never find us now! I was right on the tail, and I lost them. It's not over yet, Longarm. We'll find your dad and your son. That soap map was our only lead, and it was washed away. Not entirely. Here's what's left of the soap. Miss Morgan, we have to hurry. I'm scheduled to cover a fashion show. I thought the crime museum might still want it. They can have it. It sure won't help us. Don't speak too soon, Longarm. The map wasn't the only thing Suds used the soap for. Look! It looks like a key. More than just a key. It's our first break in this case. West Side Laundry. West Side Laundry? Never heard of it. Wait a minute. That was on my old beat. It's on industrial tier 49. That old place has been abandoned for years. I think I smell a story brewing. I guess this means I won't be covering the fashion show. Come on, Longarm. We've got some crooks to catch. It's crime fighting time! This was Suds' hideout, the West Side Laundry. It's time to remember that map. You know, fellas, my memory uh, isn't what it used to be. Quit your stalling, Gramps. Okay, okay. I just remembered. Follow me. Stop right here. Well, now what? Now, this! What the? Hey! Whoa! 
Great work, Grandpa! Yeah! Crusher! Hey! I'll get help, Grandpa! Outrun that brat. All right, no more tricks, old man. Hey, kid, come to Uncle Button. <laughs> about your grandpa. You'd better worry about yourself. I'd say it's your turn. Hey, what's he doing? Mr. McBoom Boom, I'm here to interview you for Lifestyles of the Rich and Crooked. Well, uh, I am one of Empire City's most famous crooks. Hey! I can't see. I've never arrested a TV star before. Uh. Uh. Maybe you're built for the crime beat after all. I guess my circuits are tougher than I thought. What about Mickey? Grandpa's stuck in there with Raw Crusher. I'm stuck in here with this old man. We've been going in circles. Have we? I hadn't noticed. Of course. That's it. What's it? What are you looking at? Sorry, Crusher, but I just figured out what the map was telling us. Ow! Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm gonna get you, old man! Crusher, I couldn't have done it without you. Such you clever old dog. So that's where you hid the money. This is Longarm requesting a backup at the West Side Laundry. You boys don't have to go to all that trouble on my account. Gramps! You got him with your lucky cuffs. You bet, Brian. I even found the missing money. But it's locked tight. Try this, Dad. Well, here we go. Oh, 
delicious. Wowie. Nice police work, son. I had a great teacher. And so a five million dollar mystery was solved, and Buttons McBoom Boom and Rock Crusher were arrested. This is Whitney Morgan for Crime Beat. Uh, those idiots! I got them a simple heist, and they make a mess of it. Uh, oh. yeah. Together, Long Arm and Mickey O'Malley cracked a case that had baffled the city for 35 years. The recovered money was returned to the Empire City Treasury. Buttons Muck Boom Boom and Rock Crusher were given a chance to clean up their act in the prison laundry. Cops file 392027, the case of the stashed cash. Case closed. Cops. Roll Call, Highway, Mainframe, Long Arm, Bowser and Blitz, Sundown, Hardtop, Mirage, Bullseye, Mace, Barricade, and they call me Bulletproof. These are Empire City's most wanted crooks. Berserko, Rock Crusher, Misdemeanor, Turbo Two-Tone, Dr. Bad Vibes, Nightshade, use caution in apprehending. Cookie jar! <laughs> hey, you made it to the end of the episode. That's awesome. If you like our videos, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're in a position to help out the channel, consider supporting us on Patreon. Be sure to check out our Facebook page where you can keep up to date with us. And go ahead and watch another episode of your favorite nostalgic cartoons right here at the Cartoon Vault.